It is 18 now past 6 o'clock. Time for us to take a drive in this week's destination, PA. Which Scott hopes we do. Uh, <laughs> as you may know, Pennsylvania filled with a lot of interesting history. And there's a spot in Bedford County, about three and a half hour drive south, that brings some of that history to life. Maggie Smolka takes us there. For the next two minutes, we're going back in time. From broom making to candle dipping and basket weaving, history comes to life at the Old Bedford Village. And we want people to know what the history was like back in that time period of 17, 1800s. Like I say, there was, it was a lot of hardship, but families stayed together, they, they worked together. The minute you enter, you're reliving the past. It's called the walking wheel. I'm the one doing the walking making some yarn out of sheep's wool. The first stop is at the historic Biddle House, where you'll see how wool blankets and clothes were made from home production. The spinning wheels would be essential machines that you would need for hopefully your granddaughters to do a lot of spinning. Inside the broom shop is where you'll meet Mr. Phil. He'll explain all the different types of brooms and how they were put together. Our interpreters, you know, they've learned the history on the buildings themselves, uh, learned a little bit of history of the year of 17, 1800s, so that they can let you know what it was like back in that time period. You can hear the sound of the blacksmith's hammer. It was an important job in early America. In a town, a blacksmith is the one that's going to work from sun up to sundown. This is Dave Pettit. He shows us how different household items and tools would have been made for townspeople to buy. So everything metal in 1800 has to be forged by hand. We as modern people have kind of forgotten that the amount of work that it would take to keep something like that going. We ran into Allison in the tin room. There's a lot of stuff to do, there's a lot of stuff to look at. She's visiting the village and got to do some hands-on activities while learning about history. All ages really have something to enjoy. All right, this is our candle shop. Here, you can try making one yourself. And outside, you can even pan for gold. With more than 40 log cabins and structures, you'll get a true feel for what it felt like to live hundreds of years ago. It's not an easy life that they had back then. If you take a trip to the old Bedford Village, you'll get to see the past right in the present. In Bedford County, I'm Maggie Smolka. Destination Pennsylvania is sponsored by Northern Pennsylvania Regional College and Superstore Joe at Auto Express Kia. And for more ideas on places to visit this summer right here in PA, tune in to Good Morning Erie every Thursday morning.